The number of pets in American households has been growing every year, and sometimes that can cause problems for the neighborhood. One local community is taking action, and John Delano has the details. Nearly 7 out of 10 American families own a pet, of which 75 million are dogs. That's a lot of barking. <laughs> and even more dog poop that humans are supposed to clean up. You wake up, you go to New York, you cut your grass, and all of a sudden you find a dog has done their business in your yard. No one's cleaned up after them. Now, McCandless officials are cracking down on all pet owners who allow their animals to become a nuisance to others. It's a problem, um, not I think not only in McCandless but in other communities that you um, end up with a few uh, pet owners that aren't as responsible as we'd like. A law declares animals that create offensive odors, habitually bark, or defecate on lawns are nuisances, with fines up to $500 and 30 days in jail. The law doesn't say so, but town manager Bob Grimm says owners must clean up after their animals. If the dog owner wouldn't clean up after the dog, it would become a violation. Jim Robinson, a McCandless resident walking his dog Amelia, has no trouble with the tougher penalties. In general, it doesn't bother me because I think when you have a pet, you're responsible to the community to control the animal and have them behave in a, uh, a reasonable fashion. Unleashed dogs and barking dogs get the most complaints from neighbors, says Police Chief David DeSanti. But issuing citations is not their goal, noting police. Use good common sense and discretion and try to amicably resolve every 